no anticipation. No one could ever imagine this type of uh, or impact to hit, a, to hit anywhere. No one thinks about this. Uh, we do have pending issues with some of these upstream dams and, and lakes being compromised, and it'll take, I'm afraid, probably years to, to recover from all of this. We're very prayerful for the folks that have lost loved ones. We're also uh, grieved over the sole proprietors that have uh, put all their savings, all their time into their business, and they've pretty much lost all their livelihood at this point. And yet there's still hope as I walk around and I see the different business owners, I see volunteers coming in from different churches and from uh, just friendships that are going to come and lock arms and, and clean up whatever we can, the old mill. And we really want to be a servant to make Lexington more beautiful than it was a couple weeks ago. Hey, Kevin Thompson here from the Watershed Fellowship. Just want to give a shout out to all those in Lexington and the surrounding area that has loved on us in the midst of the storm. You've labored hard and you've demonstrated the grace and mercy of God to us. And uh, here at the Old Mill, the Old Mill family is so grateful. And I just want to share a little bit from their heart with you today. Man. Yeah, people, we really appreciate all the outpour of the, from the community and the town officials. It's bad here, but certainly there are people in Columbia that have it a whole lot worse. We're doing what we can to get the businesses back up and running. Thank you for everything. My name is Randall Sanders. Everybody knows me about Rooster. We're trying to salvage some stuff down here and what we can. We just appreciate everybody helping us. It was our business at one time. Just that we're glad that our building held up and we all have jobs to come back to. Appreciate all the community's help. Hopefully they all come back when we're done cleaning. All right. I just want to let everybody know that uh, every one of our members, even uh, fellow churches around the community, have come together to help us get back open. Everything should be on, on pace uh, for us to open back up tomorrow, so we'll see you then. Where it stands right now. I want to thank everybody for all the business you've given me over the years, patronage. I just want to thank everybody who came out. Anyone extra that came out with local churches or just volunteers, thank you so much. As of right now, the place has been completely gutted. Prayers are very appreciated. Um, our goal is to be reopening November 1st. Thank you all so much. We're gonna get through this. Everybody is. We're uh, grateful and we're blessed to have so many people who turned out and want to help us and continue to want to help us. Once we get repaired, we have our gas and our sewer and our water, we'll be back open. And uh, we can only pray that Lexington will, will come join us and have a sandwich and a drink and, and we'll be back and we'll be better. We're all survived, we're all okay. For those that suffered more losses than us, we're here to help. And it's amazing how a town can come together in such a quick period of time. I really appreciate all the support that Lexington's given us. It's been a silver lining on this gray cloud that we had come over the mill. Yeah, we'll be up back up and running really soon here. So yeah, please come back and see us. It'll be better, better than ever. Uh, as you can see, we're in the midst of chaos, but at this point, I think it's pretty controlled. I want to thank everybody for your help. and so much to everybody here at the Old Mill. We really appreciate all the volunteers putting their time to, to help us try to help the old mill get back on its feet. So thank you for everything. I want to thank everybody. I appreciate all the community's help. Thank you all so much. But thank you again. I thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Just a big thanks, a huge thanks. For thank everybody for your help. We're uh, grateful and we're blessed. Love you guys.